Hi everybody, it's Miss Patty from Chandler Newberger. Let's sing hello to each other. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. I'm going to read you a story today. It's called Bored, Nothing to Do. Let's see if you like it. This is one of my children's favorite books, Bored, Nothing to Do, by Peter Spear. Look at that. There's an airplane on the front. I wonder where that came from. Bored, Nothing to Do. Oh, look. There are two people, and they're in their yard, and it seems that they are bored, and they have nothing to do. Why don't they play badminton? Why don't they play with their bow and arrow or float their boat in the lake? I don't know. Maybe they've tried everything already. Let's turn the page and see what happens. Oh, there they are, leaving their house. Go do something. I was never bored at your age. Oh, look at their faces. I think they don't look very happy. Oh, look at that beautiful tree house they have. Let's make something. Oh my goodness, look at this huge garage they have. I see a propeller and a cement mixer, a wheelbarrow some wheels, a saw, so many things to use. Let's turn the page and see what happens next. Oh, they've taken down the propeller and they say, but how? Look at that. They lifted it down. He climbed up on the, into the top of the barn and is lowering it with a rope. Looks like they go back into their house and they look at a book. See, that's how it works. Let's look up closely at this picture. Oh, it shows the plane. It shows a plane on the inside and it shows a little bit about how it flies. I think they have an idea. Oh, look, this one's gone to get all the tools. So many tools that they have, and they're taking them all to the barn. They need wheels and wood and seats and nails. Oh my, look where they're taking the wheels from. What do you think the baby thinks? Uh-oh, look where the wood is coming from. They've taken an entire fence down. And now they're taking everything they found away, including some lawn chairs. And paint and glue and cloth and hinges and rope. Where did they get the cloth from? Oh, out of the top of the linen closet. And where did they get the hinges from? It looks like they took them right off of a door in the house. And now they have all their materials right here. I see bicycle wheels. I see the chairs they took. I see the propeller. I see a saw. What do you see in this picture? So many tools. Let's put it up close so you can see really well. Ah, there's their wood, there's their paint. There are all their tools and all their materials. And windshields and screws. What do you think they'll use for windshields? Maybe the storm windows from their house? Oh, they've dumped out a planter. And look at this, they have a laundry line in their yard and they're taking the rope from it. 
You need a lot of stuff to build an airplane. Oh my goodness, look what they're building. They have started their airplane in their barn. Aren't they lucky they have such a big place to work? Hard work. There's their book so they can see what to do next. Look, the dog is watching them. Do you see the bicycle wheels attached to the bottom of their plane? Oh, there they are, right in the top with the folding chairs from the yard. There's the storm windows. There's a plane and a pair of scissors and a hammer. They've got a wagon over here. Oh, they have different kinds of saws and a router. So many tools. Let's turn the page. Need wire, they say. Oh, look, they're looking at their plans. They have some very specific plans that show them what to do. Need wire, they say. That's easy. Oh, they're taking it from the fence outside the house. And I think they've disconnected the television. This is from when televisions had to have antennas with wires to make the picture come through. How about that? I think he's pretty pleased. Look, his thumb is up. A plane needs an engine. The lawnmower engine is too small. The tractor engine is too heavy. Just right. It looks like they're going to take the engine right out of their Volkswagen bug that's in the yard. Oh my goodness. What will they do next? There they are, taking the engine away. That must have been very heavy. And there they are. They've put the engine in already. Messy job. Tiring. Oh, I think they're taking a well-earned break. They've taken the airplane out of the barn. To make it run, turn the key. Oh, look, there's the planter that they dumped the plants out of. Are they in their plane? Oh, look at their hair flying. The propeller is the propeller is turning. Noisy, scary, but it works. It flies. It really flies. Look how high they are. There's the dog at first, and there's the dog so far, far away. Great plane. Look at that. The sky is so beautiful and they look really happy. TV doesn't work. Call a repairman. Phone doesn't work. Go get a repairman and the telephone company. Car will not start. Oh, look at his face. Is he happy? I don't think so. He looks frustrated. Oh, of course the car won't run. It doesn't have an engine. Where are my sheets? Look at the baby carriage. Oh, look, the wheels are all broken off. And what happened to the bicycles? What happened to our fence, and to my clothesline, and to the garden furniture? Oh, I think she looks a little frustrated, too. 
Do you see what's in the background? Something very, very small. Do you see it in the background? Right there. They're the boys. They're in their plane. Nothing works. Small wonder. Where is everything? Where are the boys? Oh, baby knows where the boys are. There they are in their plane. And here they come, right over the barn. The dog is happy. The baby's happy. Oh, father is yelling. And their mother has fainted. I think I would faint if my children came flying over my house in a homemade plane. Come down immediately. I think he's yelling. I think they've hit the tree. I think they're angry. May as well go down. What do you see in this picture? Is there something unusual happening? It looks to me like their house is upside down. And they must be far away because there's their father and the dog and they're very, very small. Nice landing. Oh, but their plane is starting to look a little shabby. I think their sheets are starting to tear off. It's a good thing they landed. Oh, no, it looks like the front of the plane is about to fall off. Put it back where it belongs. The engine, the gas tank, the windows... The chairs, the sheets a little bit torn, the rope, the paint, but how? The wire, oh, he's fixing the fence, the wheels, the fence, oh, they're putting it back together, the wood, the tools, oh, look, the fence is rebuilt in the background. Look how clean the garage is, everything. It's all put away. And here they are, sent to their room early. Some boys, clever too. I think they might be proud of their boys for making something interesting. And here are the boys in their bedroom, bored, nothing to do. Oh my, look at the posters on their wall. They have some spaceships up there. I hope that they don't build a rocket the next time. The end. Bored, Nothing to Do, by Peter Spear.